Greetings, unsettled souls. No! Welcome to the correct news. Sam, I beat Ganji, giving you some interesting news here. I, I, I like when I see things like this because I, like many of you, have become so unbelievably concerned about how we live in a world where if the authorities tell you to eat a bowl of live maggots, you'll ask them if you're allowed to salt them first. I've never seen a time like this, but I tell you, I have been worried that it's coming. You can find videos from me 10 years ago saying things like, you should not have to renew your driver's license. That is double taxation. To which people say, well, what about your eye? We need to make sure you can see. Yeah, well, you, know, you can get an eye exam and send it in. They have no right to do this. The idea, you have to buy insurance to drive. Why? Why the hell are you going to do that? Insure yourself if you're going to drive. Why the hell do other people? That's ridiculous. But the government tells us we have to do it. And well, it sounds reasonable. I mean, it is good for other drivers. What if you hit somebody? Buy your own damn insurance. If somebody hits you, it'll be paid for. But no, no, no. So now we've applied it to uh, health care. And now the government says in some instances that you have to buy health care. And you say, okay. It goes on and on and on and on. So I'm happy to see some people like this fine person in the world. Angry father of Marine, U.S. Marine Kareem Nikoi, uh, killed in Afghanistan yesterday. It's the 27th as I, uh, as I talk about this. It'll be posted probably tomorrow. I was happy when my son joined the military under Trump, but Biden turned his back on him. He says a lot, friends. Listen up to it. 100% fed up reports yesterday. It was one of the worst days in American history. It will always be remembered by Americans as a day of ragtag bunch of Islamist terrorists in Afghanistan killed 13 U.S. military members. Um... We all, I'm not going to read about what led up to the, 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 the killing because you guys know this. It says, The Daily Beast has released an interview with Steve Nikoi, the father of U.S. Marine Kareem Nikoi. There he is. That's his picture. He was killed during the terrorist attack on Cabal Airport yesterday. The father of the murdered U.S. Marine was notified yesterday within eight hours of his son's death when he got a notification on his phone that was linked to a doorbell camera that he had visitors on his front porch. In other words, the people who came to tell him that his son had died uh, showed up and his electric doorbell recorded them and he knew as soon as he saw them. You don't, they don't come to your door for any other reason. The Marines who came to deliver the news of Kareem's death were more choked up than me, Nekui said. I was actually trying to console them, but at the same time, I just wanted them to get out as soon as possible so that no one from my family came back and saw them. I thought it appropriate that I be able to tell them. I haven't gone to bed all night, Nikoi said, but I'm in shock. I haven't been able to grasp everything that's going on. As of right now, Nikoi's plan is to go to Dover, Delaware and pick up his son's remains. Kareem loved what he was doing. He always wanted to be a Marine, said Nikoi, noting that his son had been stationed close to home at Camp Pendleton. This made it easy for Kareem to visit on weekends, and he often brought along 10 or 15 other Marines with him. When the holidays rolled around, Kareem always brought a few buddies with him for a home-cooked meal, according to Nikoi. There he is. I'm assuming that's his mother. Maybe his girlfriend. I think it's his mother. Through tears, Nikoi expressed flashes of anger along with pains of ang with along with anguish. He said he wants to respect the office of the president. That is growing harder and harder to do. Uh, but he doesn't have much love for President Joe Biden at the moment. A Trump supporter, Nikoi was happy that Trump was in office when Kareem joined the Marines. I really believe this guy didn't want to send people in harm's way, he said. They sent my son over there as a paper pusher and then had the Taliban outside providing security, said Nikoi. I blame my own military leaders. Biden turned his back on them, and that is it. You would say, some people would say, well, Sam, that's not fair to blame Biden. Biden didn't want this to happen. 
Well, I don't think necessarily that Biden dialed up ISIS and told them to make this happen. But let me point out a couple of things that you're not going to get on the regular news. And this is going to make you hit share and subscribe because the correct views is uh, something that will bring you these nuances that you don't normally get. For instance, we already know that the withdrawal wasn't a bad idea. What was a bad idea was pulling out the very military forces and security forces which should have been around to have protected this man's son. But beyond that, there's a bigger correct view here. Remember we reported the last couple of days, I said that it was amazing how ISIS and the Taliban could seem to shake hands and uh, moon each other when it became time to attack gringos. You guys, as I always say, to stick up for the minorities. Well, the white man is a minority there, just in case you haven't figured that out yet. What ISIS did here was morbidly brilliant because they are, at least on paper, at war with the Taliban and at war with the West and America and the ideals of honesty and freedom because they subscribe to a fake religion and they worship a fake god. But beyond that, further apart from that, is the fact that ISIS knew, ISIS-K, whatever, they knew, Daesh, they knew that causing this explosion was going to quite possibly make Biden have to do something, which would mean that the Taliban would also be brought down by the U.S. again. And ISIS is hoping to step up from the ashes. So they're deliberately pitting both sides against the other. And in this instance, they were able to pull it off. Perhaps it was due to bribing the security forces of the Taliban, which is perfectly more than likely, or they just pure incompetence, which is exactly what led to the fall of the country to begin with. So friends, let me know what you think. Leave me your comments. And I do hope that you're finding this on Opera News because it's been growing very rapidly, which I want to happen. We need to get away from YouTube. We need to get away from these places that are killing us, friends. If you want honest news, not bunk news, honest news, well, the truth, then you want the correct views. So please hit subscribe.